You're about to see a clip that I saw in high school, early high school. I'm David Hoffman, filmmaker, and I collected these clips because they give people a sense of what the 1950s was like. At the time, the person you're about to see, the kid, was truly a geek. And when I saw this clip, the idea that you could talk into something and a typewriter key typed the letter was like we went to Mars. Amazing. This is a newsreel. Take a look and see what you think and put yourself into the mindset of being a kid like me, going to school and seeing this kid do what he did. And with a boy, an idea, and a science fair in New York City. The boy was Victor Scheinman, 16, a senior at the New Lincoln School. The idea. In the basement of his home, where in past years he built such devices as an electronic banjo and an amateur lie detector, he tackled his still unnamed project. The microphone would convert the letters into low voltage current. Electrical impulse would type out the spoken letter. But would it work? A. 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 So far, a success. But what would he call it? MV. Electromechanical voice inscriber. That was the name Victor had chosen as he exhibited. T. 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 A boy and a challenge. Victor Scheinman and Envy. Just one of 3,000 students, boys and girls, exhibiting at the New York Science Fair. Each had been challenged. Each had met the challenge, and having done so, all would be better students. And First of all, the idea of a speaker speaking unto a letter on a typewriter is an ancient idea now. But I want you to know one thing. Sputnik happened to America on October 4th, 1957. Within a year, America was focusing huge amounts of talent, not just geeks, on science, on getting a man to the moon, on miniaturization, on electronics, on the internet, which was created as a, a direct result of Sputnik and how it provoked America to look at science and believe in scientists. President Eisenhower was the president at that time and he led the effort to create science commissions, universities focusing on science, women in colleges, language labs in high school, special science programs in high school, and so much more. I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you'd like to support my efforts to do what I'm doing on YouTube, it's www.patreon.com forward slash all in a day. David Hoffman, filmmaker. Thank you.